I'm going to bring in meteorologist Amanda Holly because when we get cold fronts like that, this one won't bring us any severe weather, but it's Severe Weather Awareness Week. It certainly is. Typically our more quiet time of the year mm -hmm. right now, but always a good time to think about the weather that we do get here in Florida. So each and every day this week, we'll be bringing you the topic of the day, and today's topic is lightning. Did you know that Florida is the lightning capital of the United States? A lot of us that have lived here for a while probably know that, but on average, we typically see about 280. 85 lightning events per square mile and that was in 2022 so yeah we get a lot of lightning here but when we break it down from our area specifically central and southwest florida has the most lightning in the state and pinellas county locally that was our lowest area of those events with only about 52 and a half events per square kilometer per year but hillsborough pasco hernando manatee and sarasota yeah twice as many as pinellas county here with about a 115 events there per square kilometer per year. Polk, though, you guys have the highest e amount of events of lightning per square kilometer per year with about 150 events per square kilometer. So yeah, a lot of lightning in our area regardless. And if there's anything that you take away from this, please remember, especially heading into our summer months, that lightning can strike 10 miles away from the nearest raindrop. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to being struck by lightning. We cannot say that enough because when you hear it, you want to get out of the way of the storm stop your swimming, stop outdoor activities, stop golfing and head inside. Stay away from electronics, stay away from your windows because the lightning can travel here. But overall, that is our topic for the day. Lightning, luckily, Lee, we don't have too much of it in the forecast and we're still in our quiet time, but always something to keep in mind. That's why we, we learn about it now before we actually need it, which is coming up later through the spring and summer months.